after the CL415 discharges its water, it doesn't go back to base. Instead, it uses a clever design element that allows it to go get right back into the fight. Well, the beauty of the CL415 is its ability to take water from local water sources. As long as the water is above 1.4 meters deep and they have a run of about 2,000 meters, they can go in and scoop the water up in 12 seconds and be back in the air and back to the firefight in, in moments, really, and, and then turn around and do it again. So that's what makes it so effective. The CL415 aircraft can remain on mission for up to three hours dropping typically nine tank loads of water on a fire, refilling from a water source 10 kilometers away. The CL415 is a phenomenal machine. Its ability to pick up water uh, at six times in an hour over a three hour period before it needs to refuel uh, delivers a big punch to a fire. Canadair's exceptional design, permitting the aircraft to refill from nearby water sources rather than returning to base to reload, combined with turboprop engines, results in a lower fuel burn per liter of water drop compared to land-based aircraft. And a key to this utility is the design of the craft. As wildfires become more and more common, we have to turn to new technology and specialized machines to help us fight this force of nature. One of the most interesting things about the CL415 is its ability to land and take off on water. In order to do that, the fuselage of the aircraft is shaped like the hull of a boat. This allows the aircraft to gain enough velocity over water to take off. In addition, the engines are mounted high on the wings, and that's really important because the propellers need to be high enough up that they won't impact the water during takeoff and landing. Additionally, because boat hulls are not particularly stable to rocking motions, there are pontoons on the wingtips to prevent the aircraft from overturning. 